This could end up being one of the biggest reviews I do this year. What's in this box right here could end up changing an opinion I've held on to for almost a decade. Welcome back everyone, I'm Caleb Dennison and today we're gonna unbox, set up, and get first impressions on the LG QNED 99TV. Now, if you follow this channel, you know that while I love LG OLED TVs, I haven't spent a whole lot of time reviewing LG LED-based TVs or LCD-based TVs. The reason being that I haven't been impressed by them in the past and there's a lot of TVs to review. Why have I not been impressed by them? And more notably, why is this TV any different? I'm gonna get to that a little bit later. I'm also going to explain to you what QNED means in the context of this particular TV and how that might be different than QNED TVs we might see later. A lot of acronyms to explain. We'll get to that first. We gotta crack this sucker open. Before we get into it though, let me know in the comments right now, what does QNED mean to you? Have you even heard of it before? Really curious to see what you have to say about that. Let's talk about it. Also, please click like and subscribe, especially subscribe because we've got some amazing videos coming out that I know you're gonna wanna see and I know you're gonna be among the first to see them if you hit that subscribe button. Also share this video, sharing is caring and you never know who might need to see it. All right, let's do this. Here's everything that comes in the box. Quite a few little pieces we'll get to in a second. First, there's a lot of paper. Um, most of it is unnecessary, especially the part that tells you how to use your remote. Uh, but the quick setup guide here, I would keep around just for getting the TV out of the box correctly. Otherwise, we'll just slide that out of the way. Then we've got a couple of, wow, you hear that? Legs, metal for sure, interesting texture that they have on the back portion of it here. The uh, glossy portion is what will come out front, show you that in a minute. Remote, which already has the Bexel batteries inside. That's because this unit was used by LG for probably quite some time before it made it to me. More on that in a little bit. We've got some cable management stuff here. These tabs, got no idea what they do. I probably don't need them. Some screws for the legs. Two decorative panels, we'll talk about what this is for later, and then an IR repeater. So to get the legs on the TV, you've got to place the TV face down on a table. That's actually in the instructions and what they suggest. They suggest a table bigger than the TV, which is gonna be hard to do. So we used a big piece of cardboard. Once you got that done, uh, then all you need to do is take the leg, slide it into place, and then start screwing. All right, here we are, legs are in, and back of the TV shot on the stand. Couple of things worth mentioning. One is this TV is like, super heavy. Granted, it's a 75 inch TV, but uh, particularly heavy. Definitely have a friend around if you wanna set this thing up by yourself. Uh, a couple of other things, you notice that we've got a couple of holes here and we saw those panels earlier on the table. This is for the slim mount that's available for the gallery series of LG TV. So if you did want to have a nice flush mount up against the wall, that's an option. There's also the usual Visa mounting holes that you can use a standard bracket with if you like. But again, make sure it can handle the weight of the TV because it's heavy. Next thing I wanna talk about is the input bay. We have four HDMI inputs. They are all four labeled 8K60, which I feel like is a little bit of flex on LG's part. It is an 8K TV, so I get it. You wanna say 8K, but that could easily be labeled 4K 120 as well. The main point is that it's HDMI 2.1 and it's gonna support all of the HDMI 2.1 features just as LG's OLEDs do. And here we are, front of the TV shot. Not a ton to see here, partially because the metallic bezels, I mean, they're there, but they're really more of a border. Once you step away, you don't see them. There is a little bit of a black matrix around the edge of the screen, that's typical. I expect to see that. Remarkably stable, considering how heavy the TV is. I was worried about stability, but uh, it's good to go, even though those legs are pretty thin. The thing I'm noticing the most, though, is the generous amount of anti-reflective coating on the TV, which is doing plenty to dim some of the lights. Um, this is an IPS panel, which already struggles a little bit with black levels, so I'm interested to see how that plays out once we get this thing turned on. Speaking of turning on, there's probably a fair amount of WebOS setup to get through, so let's get started with that. So WebOS, which we set up on a bunch of LG OLED TVs, let me shrink this down and just say, follow the on-screen prompts. 
It's super simple. There's nothing confusing about it until you get to the terms and conditions, of which there are like way too many. And this really has to do with how much data you're handing over. If you choose not to share any data, well, then you're gonna get really poor recommended content. Maybe that doesn't bug you. It bugs me. Mostly I just say yes to all this stuff because I know there's nobody at LG that knows I've been binging criminal minds. They don't care about that. The algorithm, however, is able to show me more crime dramas if it knows that I'm watching that. So I'm good with it, but then I've been less cagey about my data uh, than normal lately. So pick and choose your battles. Just understand it's worth making a smart decision here. So before we move forward, a couple of things I want to talk about. One is QNED. What does that mean? Well, in the larger TV sphere, QNET is a specific kind of TV technology. That's not actually being applied here. LG is using the term for its own marketing purposes, basically. And what it means to you is mini LED backlight. That's really all you need to know. LG QNED means mini LED backlit TV. We've seen some models from TCL and Samsung that have come out with that technology. And that gets me to the next thing I wanted to talk about, which is why have I kind of sworn off LG's LED LCD TVs in the past? And it's because honestly, they haven't really performed all that well. Not for me anyway. And that comes down to the IPS panel, right? Which offers really good off axis viewing, but the blacks take a big hit. And with those milky blacks, I just wasn't really thrilled about the TV in general. This could be different with mini LEDs in play and now quantum dots coming into the mix as well. We could be talking about a completely different looking display from LG. And that's why I'm really interested to dig into this TV to see how it performs there. Never mind the 8K resolution. I want to see what mini LED does for LG and its IPS panels. Gonna be very exciting. Now, normally this is where I would start getting into my recommended settings out of the box to get the best picture quality without any deep adjustments. And then we go into our first impressions of the TV, but I'm gonna have to stop there because unfortunately this TV is wrecked. The screen has obviously seen some serious damage. Not sure how that happened, the box looks fine. But nevertheless, it's bad enough that I can't go any further with this particular unit. So I'm gonna have to box this thing up, request a replacement, and then we'll do our full review. Unfortunately, that's gonna take a little while. We've gotta wait for the new one to show up. Once we do though, we will definitely dig into those picture settings and we'll take a look at the picture quality and really dig in to find out if mini LED backlighting is gonna be the game changer I hope it is for LG's LCD displays. Thanks as always for watching everyone. Sorry we had to stop short, but you know what? Damaged TVs happen. That's just part of the drill. But that reminds me, hit that subscribe button because you're definitely gonna wanna be around for when the full review comes out. And while you're here, here's two other videos I think you'll like.